Well hello Internet and welcome to part 19 of my tutorial series on how to make Android apps. Today we're going to focus in on notifications, alarm manager, and we're going to do a little bit more with broadcast because that confused a couple people from part 18 a little bit. So I hopefully you can clear that up. Of course all the codes available underneath the video in the description and I have a lot to do. So let's get into it. Okay so here we are inside of Android Studio and here is our application. Like very often it is very simple but I just want to keep everything simple so you can easily copy and paste the code until you can memorize exactly how this stuff works. Basically we're going to use these two buttons right here show notification and stop notification to pop up notifications in the taskbar. And to do so we're going to use something called the notification manager that's going to allow us to notify the users that something happened in the background. We are then, with this button, going to use the Alarm Manager, which is going to allow us to schedule for applications to do something at a later date, even if it is in the background or if the application altogether is shut off. So basically, I went ahead and just threw those buttons in there so you didn't have to watch me do that. I know you guys know how to do that stuff already. And now I basically just have to come in here and tell it exactly what I want to happen whenever these buttons are clicked on. And we're going to have the first one open up a method called show notification and we can just come in here and create that da, da, da. create show notification over there you see it back over into activity main.xml and whenever this guy is going to be clicked on on click we are going to have it open up stop notification right like that and then we can come over and have that created over in activity main or main activity and then finally with this guy whenever this is clicked on we're going to have on alarm fire and then we'll be able to see how the alarm manager works or actually let's call this set alarm that makes a little bit more sense and there you go and that's all we're going to do with activity main.xml of course this is going to be in our layout folder right here there you go and we're going to create another one so that whenever the notifications clicked on it's going to pop up an activity and show more about the notification itself and now let's jump over into main activity and start creating this stuff so here we are, we have main activity created, we have on create here, and the first thing I'm going to do is come in here and define our buttons that we're going to be using. And I'm going to call this show notification button, stop notification button, and then alert button. Put those defined. Now we're going to create our notification manager. Like I said before, it's going to allow us to notify the users that something happened in the background, no matter what application is currently opened up, so it's very useful. Let's just call that notification manager to keep it simple. Another thing we're going to do is because we're going to try to stop notifications, we want to make sure that we track if a notification is in the taskbar or not. And we're going to do that by creating a boolean, and I'm going to call it is notific notification just to keep that short active and it's going to start off as false because of course it's not going to be active in the beginning and I also want to be able to track my notification so notification ID and let's just give it an ID of 33 doesn't matter all right so down inside of on create now create some more things first off we're going to want to come in here and initialize our buttons so get that guy is equal to and there we go find view by ID R dot ID dot and show notification button. Do exactly the same thing for the stop notification button and the alert button. All right, so we have those initialized. So now we need to go in here and actually define what happens whenever those buttons are clicked on. Might as well just do show notification here because it is already set up here for us. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build the notification that I'm going to create. And you do that by going notification, compat, builder. And I'm just going to call this notification builder is equal to new. And then I'm going to define everything all at the same time. Notification, compat, and then builder this. And then I'm going to be able to come in here and define the title for the notification. And this is what's going to be displayed for our notification itself. So let's just have it be message. And if you want to jump to the end of the video, you can see what this looks like when it's all done. And then come back. And then we're going to define the text that is going to further elaborate on that. So we'll just say new message. And then after that, we can have what's called the ticker. And the ticker, there it is is going to be what shows up in our taskbar at the top of the screen. So alert new message. Also think of that as the alert 
And then we're also going to come in here and define that we want an icon to show up inside of here. And I already went and created that as well. It's a 24 by 24 logo that I created. And there it is. And if we want to just look and see where that folder is, this is in the drawable folder, and you can see right there, there is our logo that we're using. And if we want to open it, that's what it looks like when it's all blurry and big. 24 by 24 pixels. Okay, so that does a lot of the work of defining what the notification looks like. Now we need to define that we have the intention of opening more info notification, which is a, another class we're going to define here in a moment. This guy, we want to open that activity when the notification is clicked on. And to do that, we have to create an intent. So I'm going to call this more info. Intent is equal to new intent. You guys should be really good with intents now if you've been following along because we use them all the time. And I just need to tell it exactly what class we want to open up or activity or whatever. And there it is. Next, we're going to define the task stack builder. And what this is used for is so when the user clicks on back on their Android device that it goes to the proper place and doesn't just kick out and look sloppy. So task stack builder, let's just call this T stack builder is equal to task stack builder create and then just put this inside of there. All right, so now that we have that defined, we can add all of the parents of this current activity to our stack. And then whenever they click back, like I said before, they're going to automatically be able to bounce back and forth between all the different activities and everything that you have defined inside of this one application. So I'm going to go more info notification dot class. And there that is. And then we want to also add our new intent to the stack. And to do that, just stack builder dot add next intent and more info intent is also going to go on there. Now what we want to do is come in and define an intent and an action to perform with that intent by another application and what we're going to do here is go pending intent let's just call this pending intent is equal to t stack builder dot get pending intent and then you pass zero inside of there and then we're going to go pending intent dot flag update current and what that means is if this intent exists what we want to do is update it but not create a new one and there we go and now finally we're going to define the intent to fire when the notification is actually clicked on like i said before if you want to see what this looks like go to the end of the video and look and see what the application looks like it'll make more sense it's just basically in the taskbar the intent pops up it's like a little message that goes away and if they drag the taskbar open and click on it, right here we're going to define exactly the intent to fire whenever that notification is clicked on. Like this. And now we will put our pending intent inside of here. That's what all the pending intent is. Basically it's going to give us more information or send us to the activity that's specific to the notification whenever that's clicked on. That's the pending intent. Now we need to get the notification manager, which is going to be used to notify of our background event. So notification manager is equal to and notification manager and we'll go get system service and pass into there context notification service there we go and then we want to post our notification so we're basically just building everything here all together we're going to say exactly what the intent looks like what happens when they click on the intent and all these other different things and then we just have to have the notification manager basically do it and call the builder and then build and then we're also going to use this is notification active and it, that basically is going to check that it is in the notification window on our application and since we know it's active because we went and defined everything that's going to be inside of it and we said what's going to happen when the notification is clicked on and all those other different things well then we know at this point in time after we go through this entire function that yes indeed it is going to be active so now what we have to think about is what are we going to do when it is not any longer active and here we're just going to check verify that it is not active and if it comes inside of here we know that it indeed is not active or is active I mean and in that situation if we want to close a notification we just call the notification manager and we say cancel and we pass in the specific ID so that it cancels the correct notification Okay, so now that we have the notifications all set up and we have a way to click and close them, what we need to worry about now is coming in here and creating more info notification, which is going to be the object that is going to create an activity that's going to show on the screen whenever they click on it. So to do that, the very first thing I'm going to do is come in here and I'm just going to get myself a text view. So text view, just drag it in here on our screen and drop it. Doesn't matter, it's just going to 
put some information there on our screen. In the text area here, I could just come in and say something like info on the notification. This is just filler, just so you can see exactly what it looks like. And so it shows up a little bit better on the screen. Let's come in here and do text size and set this to like 16 SP. And there you can see it's just this little thing that has that little message there. It's not that fancy or anything, but I, like I said, my videos, I want this stuff to remain very easy to understand. That is the ultimate goal, so you guys can copy and paste until you remember everything. All right, so now that we have that all set up, and of course, more info notification, that's also in the layout folder, right like that. We don't need to do anything more with it, so let's just close it, get that off our screen. Now let's go into more info notification right here, and this is just a basic activity, just like before. The only thing we need to do is make sure that we come in here and open up the right layout file. So set content view like this, and we're gonna go R layout dot more info notification. And there it is, that's all we need to do for that guy. So that's gonna open up on the screen when the notification's clicked on, so we can get rid of that. And while we're thinking of it, let's just go into the Android manifest area. And since we're going to be using the alarm manager, we're gonna be setting that up here in a second. I need to get permission to be able to use the alarm manager. Com dot android dot alarm dot permission dot set alarm and then we'll be able to use that alarm manager. But since we have the other activity there that's going to fire whenever the notification's clicked on, we have to also define that activity. So activity, and the name for this is gonna be dot more info notification, there it is. And we could come in and do a label for this and let's just make it more on notification. And then we could also come in and define our parent activity. And of course that's gonna be main activity. Close that off. We could also kind of come in here and define some metadata. And let's say we want to define our name and Android support parent activity. And the value for that's going to be main activity. Close off that. And then that closes off the rest of our activity. And that's all we're going to have to do with the Android manifest. Now I'm going to go into the alert receiver. Now the alert receiver is going to be really neat because what we're going to be able to do with it, like I said before, is it's going to be able to fire different things. In this situation, it's going to fire a notification pretty much anytime, whether it is active or not, or in the background or anything. So pretty cool. So what we need to do, of course, it's going to extend the broadcast receiver. And that means we need to come in here and define on receive implement methods. There's on receive right there. Click OK. And this is going to be called whenever the broadcast is set. And then the broadcast is going to be set whenever they click on the button. We're going to create that over in main activity here in a minute. And let's say that we want to do this in a separate method. So create notification. And it's going to need to be passed to context. And then it's going to define the message. So let's just say time's up. And then we can put five seconds has passed that's what it's going to do. It's basically going to set a timer for five seconds after it's clicked on. And then the final thing is going to be the alert that shows up above. So now we need to come in here and create, create notification. And this is going to be very similar to what we just did here a second ago. Let's just make this public, void, create notification. And like I said, it's going to be past the context so that it has all the information and access to everything that it needs to be able to do its job. It's going to receive a message. It's going to display string, which is going to be the message text that's going to further elaborate on it. Make sure we spell this right. There we go. And then the final thing it's going to be passed is whatever the message alert is going to be. Message alert. There it is. And let's come in here and get rid of that and spell notification right. And just like before, we're going to do this in a slightly different order here. We're going to define our intent and the action to perform with it by our other application. Notification intent, just like we did previously. Pending intent. And we're going to go get activity. Pass in our context. Zero. Let's go down to the next line. And then we'll go new intent sort of condensing. If you want to look at the previous code, you're going to see how I'm able to condense this down. Main activity dot class and then pass zero in here. And there we go. So this is basically going to open up the main activity area where we are going to go back to here in a second and handle this. We need to build our notification that we want to show up whenever the five seconds has elapsed. We're going to do that in exactly the same way using this builder just like we did before. Let's just call this M builder equal to new notification and then builder, pass in our context, make sure that's uppercase. And then just like we did previously, we're gonna come in here and define everything. So let's say we want to define our icon we want to show up inside of there, r.drawable, just like we did before, dot, and I'm just gonna use that one again. 
And then on the next line, we'll also be able to set our title. And that's just going to be the message that was passed inside of here. Also be able to set our ticker, which is going to show up in the taskbar. Message alert. And then we'll also finally set the text for our message, which is just going to be message text. And let's get this out of here. There we go. Now that's all set up. So just another notification, just like we built before. Now we'll define the intent that we want to fire when the notification is clicked on. Set content intent intent, which is going to be main activity in this situation. That's what that is. And then we can also come in here and define how the person is going to be notified. So we can set our default and we can come in here and say notification and we could do you can see a whole bunch of them here I'm gonna use sound but you could also use vibrate which is just vibrate or you could use lights which is gonna use the default light notification for the device that they have but like I said I'm just gonna use sound here and then we're also going to come in and cancel the notification whenever it's clicked on in the taskbar and to do that we can just say set auto cancel so we don't have to go through the process of stopping the notification it's automatically going to be stopped whenever it's clicked on in the taskbar and now that we have everything set up we need to tell the notification manager to do its job notification manager is equal to let's put this down here notification manager get the context get system service and of course this is just used to notify the user of this background event which is our alarm going off after five seconds and then pass a context dot notification service okay and now if we want to come in here and post this notification on the screen we just go notify and let's pass it one and builder dot build I'm just going to build that now that uh, notification there we go that's all we need for the alert receiver in alert receiver dot java now we need to go back into main activity and set alarm is going to be the method that's going to be called whenever they click on that button just make it public void set alarm be past the view and then we can define the amount of time we want to wait before the alert or notification shows up and in this situation i'm going to make that five seconds so that it shows really quickly whenever i show you the example and to do that you go get time in mills and then you define if you want it to be five seconds you go plus five times one thousand and that is going to get you five seconds in time you need to define our intention of calling for the alert receiver class to execute alert intent is equal to new intent pass in this and then define alert receiver is going to be called then we can use the alarm manager which is going to allow us to schedule for this stuff to happen at a later date and it doesn't have to be anytime soon like five seconds it can be you know whenever you want you can be put on a schedule so that it occurs multiple different times this is the gist of using the alarm manager and you just go get system service just like we previously used it before and then we just go alarm service it's very simple to use then we can just go with the alarm manager and set it call alarm manager don't want this stuff on here though let's make this rtc wake up and then we're going to pass in alert time which is the amount of time it's going to wait until it comes in here and fires this and then we'll go pending intent get broadcast this one and then alert intent what's going to actually be called which is the alert receiver let's go alert intent and then finally we're going to put flag update current and that's going to update the intent just like previously if it is active rather than trying to restart it again so just pending intent dot flag update current so rather than restarting it, it's just going to update it and there you go guys that is how we're going to use the notification manager as well as the alarm manager now let's jump over and see the application actually running so that we can see exactly what we did okay so here's our application it has three buttons just like we all know and if you click on show notification you can see the notification pops up right there on our screen and you can also see that it shows up there in that taskbar and if we click on it it's going to open up that other layout and you can put whatever you want there of course and then we'll be able to click on stop notification which will delete it from our taskbar menu as well and then we're also going to be able to come in here and click on alert in five seconds which will wait five seconds and then display of course this can happen no matter if the application's open or closed or whatever you can see the alert right there and if you click on that that's going to open up the application for us Okay, so there we go. That's Notification Manager, Alarm Manager, more with broadcast, and a couple other different things. Please leave your questions and comments below. Otherwise, till next time.